oftentimes when we get a 3D model from a client, the 3D model is going to include uh, temporary objects my, like maybe pig launchers or you might have exclusion volumes for lay down areas or maintenance areas or you might have things like this 3D worker here either for scale or to mark out the spacing for things. Uh, usually we will try to eliminate these objects by hiding them or deleting them from the 3D model before we import it into Asmap 3D but sometimes things slip past or we miss something or a client might come back later and say that, oh, that pump that was right there, we got rid of that. So at that point, rather than trying to re-import the entire 3D model into the project file set, which is something we can do if we need to, we can import new 3D models and delete old ones. I can just delete the temporary object that I no longer want to have in the model. So to do that, I first have to select the object this could be easy or hard depending on how complex the model is or how easy Hazmat 3D makes it you know, to select all the parts of it. In this case, I had to select all of these different numbers individually, but now I have all of this selected and I can just come up and come up and say, delete selected surfaces or faces. And when I do that, it's going to think for a second. And then it's going to re-prepare the scene and re-prepare the 3D model. and then the 3D worker is gone. And I might have a couple of things that I missed, like the bottom of his foot, to go back and select and delete to clean up the last little traces of him. Uh, once I'm done with my selections and my deleting, I just need to come up and say export, because re-exporting and resaving the 3D model is going to be necessary for saving the change that I just made. If I don't export, then the next time I load up the project and load up the 3D model, he's going to be back. And the main reason for deleting these objects from the model is that Hazmat 3D cannot differentiate between a temporary object like that 3D worker and a permanent fixed object. It will treat all of it like an obstruction for flame detection. So if I put a flame detector, say, here on this post and have it facing back into this area, that 3D worker would count as a 3D, as a 3D visual obstruction for the flame detector and I would have a severe loss of coverage or much lower coverage assessed for this area. Same thing if I put a flame detector here and had it facing back over here, I wouldn't see much of this piping behind that 3D worker because the 3D worker would be blocking my field of view. That's why I delete him.